It's Nolan. What's going on, y'all? It's the kid, Jay Nolan, here. Now, we're going to be talking about a very sensitive subject today. Um, what's wild is I originally spoke about this story back when it happened with the whole brick lady thing. But for whatever reason, when I uploaded my video, YouTube demonetized it, so I was never able to get it up. It seemed like they didn't want me speaking about that particular subject. This type of weird thing happens quite a bit on YouTube, but you know, we take the good with the bad, I suppose. Now, Rhoda Osmond is now, after months of gallivanting online, uh, she racked up over $40,000 in support from people online that saw the, the video of her allegedly being hit with a brick. Now, she's facing charges, facing uh, implication and punishment for allegedly lying about what happened to her. Now, there's been people online that have been investigating this on their own, right? But then there's people who have also gone out and worked with the police in the Houston area to get a little bit more facts submitted to the police department. All right. So, again, the woman known as Brick Lady, a.k.a. Uh, Rhoda Osmond, she's wanted in Houston for theft and she didn't show up for planned surrender with the charges that she's facing. OK, so, boom, a woman who went viral on social media after making claims a man assaulted her with a brick outside a Houston club and then allegedly used the story to fraudulently raise over 40 K on GoFundMe was expected to turn herself into police, but did not show up. Rada Osman, 33, has been charged with felony theft by deception. OK, according to charging documents, Osman raised at least 40,000 through a fraudulent GoFundMe page that she started in September that she claimed she was the victim of a similar attack more than three years ago. So she's been doing this multiple times. She's come out come with some fake, you know what I'm saying, fabricated stories, come out with a bruise or something of that sort, going into outrage. She does outrage videos anyway where she walks up and slaps people. I think she's since stopped doing that, I guess. But it was only a matter of time before somebody actually got to her, unfortunately. Osmond had agreed to turn herself in on the charge at 3.45 p.m. on Thursday. But when the time came, she did not show up. Community activists Candace Matthews and Quinnell X said that Osmond had reached out to them for help. And they agreed under the condition that she would turn herself in. But when the time came, Osmond didn't show up. Matthews and Quinnell X said this is the first time that they had worked with somebody who didn't show up. Now, going into further detail about the original incident, on September 3rd, Houston police officers responded to an aggravated assault incident. They met Osmond and her female friend. During this investigation, officers reported that Osmond was intoxicated, hostile, and irate. This is coming from the police. In the original report made at the scene, Osmond claimed that she was walking on Schumacher Lane, where an unknown man threw a brick at her when she would not give him her phone number. She also told officers that she had ordered an Uber and believed the brick-throwing suspect was the Uber driver. That's suspicious. Random Uber driver just going to pull up and whop you. Osmond says she got into the car with him, where he then tried to kidnap her, according to documents. Osmond stated that the suspect was involved in trafficking and had a large group of women in the car with him. Okay, so this is... If somebody's seen this, if there was any evidence, if there was any witnesses, these are clear cut um, things that other people should have seen. Follow up begins on September 15th. Detectives tried to reach Osmond, but the number she provided was her friend's number, who was also at the scene when the incident was reported. The friend said she was not from Houston and went out to several places to drink with Osmond. She said Osmond reportedly called her male friends to come pick them up. When the men arrived, Osmond and the friend got into their vehicle, which was a dark colored sedan. The woman told investigators that she got into the right front passenger seat, Osmond in the back with another man. And this is somebody who reportedly hates men, by the way. As they were driving, she reportedly heard Osmond yell, ouch, why you hit me? But stated that she did not hear an argument before she heard this yell. The friend stated off the record she did not believe Osmond was hit with the brick. Her own friend doesn't believe this, according to charging documents. The friend told detectives that the suspect who allegedly assaulted her got out of the vehicle, got into another vehicle and drove off. She said Osman went live on Instagram and that she tried to convince Osman to call the police. So clearly there was no Uber, right? This girl says that she called a group of friends, male friends to come pick them up. They got into the car. She yelled out that she was hit with a brick, which she didn't even believe. And she was in the car with her. They 
get out. The other guys hop out and leave. I don't know what that was about. So some, some bullshit happened, but it's not going according to what she put in her story. The friend also says that she did not know these two men that got in the car with, um, and she could not positively identify them if they were, if brought in for questioning. A detective finally made contact with Osmond on September 19th. During the phone interview, Osmond told the detective that her friend came to town and picked all the clubs that they went to. They reportedly started at the O2 Lounge and then went to Liquid Lounge. Osmond said as they left the club, she called an Uber. Okay. According to the charging documents, when the dark color sedan pulled up, Osmond thought it was Uber and she got inside. Osmond told the detective upon entering the vehicle, the man then slung the brick. She also stated that she did her own investigation and found out it was a man named Olin Douglas who assaulted her. When Osmond was asked where was her friend at the time, she reportedly became upset and said her friend was far away from her talking to another guy. Osmond then changed her story to say she was assaulted at the Liquid Lounge Club. After more questioning from Houston police detectives, Osmond became upset, asked to speak with the detective supervisor and then hung up. So she... Anytime she gets questioned extensively, she gets angry, storms out, and finds a way to weasel out of the questioning. On September 20th, Houston police detectives canvassed the area where the assault was reported and spotted. The company that owns the cameras provided detectives with footage. And uh, in the footage, the man that Osmond claimed to hit her, Olin Douglas, was also identified. So he was there indeed. Detectives say Douglas, Osmond, and her friend were seen talking amongst each other and walking towards TikTok garden lounge okay which is i guess on the same street they all reportedly went inside the club together about 20 minutes later the video shows the trio walk outside then walk toward a white maserati that was parked directly on the side of the business douglas was reportedly seen leaning on the right front passenger door while osmond walked towards him again they went into this together so she clearly knew who he was according to the documents the surveillance footage shows that osmond started dancing on douglas while her friend was in front of the vehicle talking to another man Again, a woman who reportedly hates men, but she's seen prancing around with this guy, dancing up on him on a Maserati. The video then reportedly shows all four people get inside. The unidentified man got into the driver's seat. The friend got into the right passenger. Osmond and Douglas entered the back. A few minutes later, Douglas was reportedly seen getting out the back right side, and then Osmond sent and her friend also get out. According to charging documents, Osmond and Douglas were in an argument and Douglas reportedly swung his right hand while holding what appeared to be a plastic water bottle that struck her in the face. So this guy, Olin Douglas, he's not off the hook as of yet. They say that he did hit her with a bottle, but not a brick. And to be completely clear, this is a plastic water bottle like what you would get those Crystal Geyser, Dasani, you know, life water all that type of stuff we're not talking about a hard ass brick but he should have never hit her to begin with that is not right it's not okay we're not going to co-sign that detective said osmond then sat in the front passenger seat of the vehicle while douglas stepped away he reportedly got into the back of a audi a3 that pulled up when osmond got out the vehicle detective said the unidentified man who was driving took off so the footage capturing this scene does not support miss osmond's recorded statement on september 4th a day after this assault was reported a gofundme account was created and listed with osmond as the beneficiary the account then raised forty two thousand three hundred and two dollars as of october 25th of 2023 it stated that she was attacked by a black male as she was walking down the street because she declined to give him her phone number which is completely false she knew this guy to begin with they had some sort of dispute in the back of the car which we don't know what that was the page reads, woman gets hospitalized after allegedly being hit in the face with a brick by a man. She refused to give her number. The alleged incident happened in Houston. She says she was surrounded by men who did absolutely nothing. She says the man got in the car, left the scene after assaulting her and is afraid he will never get caught. During the investigation, detectives say that they've received a call from one Daphne Sutton, a mental health advocate and blogger on TikTok, who believe Osmond was conducting a scam because of a similar situation that happened in Minneapolis in 2020. She reportedly provided detectives with another GoFundMe account that was created by or for Osmond in 2020 with the same narrative of a black man hitting her. Sutton made TikToks about the incident and said some of Osmond's friends and an ex-roommate also reached out to her to provide a statement. Now, this guy, he could possibly be in on the scheme, right? Because they showed up together. They went inside the club together. They came out the club together. They danced together on the Maserati. They get into the back of the car. She has an outburst. Her friend says she, there was no argument. There was no issue that led up to her screaming, 
right? Nonetheless, she gets whopped in the head with a water bottle. She hops out saying that she gets hit with a brick. This guy gets picked up just conveniently in the nick of time by Audi A3, jumps in, goes off. For a while, she did not say who the man was. She went days without actually saying his identity, which she already knew from the jump. And they get to come up off $42,000 in the meantime. It sounds like a scheme to me. Sounds like she may have given him exact permission to hit her with that bottle so she could have visible evidence of her injury. But again, I'm not saying it's right that he did it. Detectives reached out to the Minneapolis Police Department to ask about this GoFundMe titled Help Black Muslim Mother Pay Her Medical Bill. The description stated a young black Muslim single mother was viciously assaulted by private security in Minneapolis, sustaining multiple facial contusions, a black eye and injuries to her leg. She needs an estimated 5K to pay for medical bills, legal fees and a new phone. Minneapolis police told the Houston Police Department there was not any reports of her being assaulted in 2020. The department stated that the last contact officers had with Osmond was in 2012 for public lewdness and disorderly conduct. So she's been out here for over 10 years showing her ass. Literally. Ex-roommate of Osman also reached out and told detectives that she and Osman were no longer friends after discovering she was scamming people and wanted to be no part of it. She said Osman reportedly created the GoFundMe in 2020, claiming that someone hit her, but it was also a lie. At the time, Miss Osman still has not been arrested. Now they go into her criminal history. According to court records, she has several prior charges in the Virgin Islands, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Hennepin County, Minnesota, Williamson County, Texas, Travis County, Texas. She's currently on bail for a separate offense from September 22nd, 2023, which is around the time this incident occurred for felony assault and domestic violence. She was charged with two counts of misdemeanor domestic violence in Steele County, Minnesota. So she clearly frequents back and forth between Houston and Minnesota. Spokesmen for GoFundMe have come out and spoken out against this. They say GoFundMe has a zero tolerance policy for the misuse of our platform and cooperates with law enforcement investigations of those accused of wrongdoing. The fundraiser has since been removed from the platform. All donors have been refunded and Rhoda Osmond has been banned from using the platform for any future fundraisers. It is not unusual for GoFundMe to pursue legal recourse against those who exploit the generosity of its giving community. Okay, so the police out there in Houston want her. GoFundMe has defunded her uh, campaign and they're reporting that she's on the run. Rhoda Osmond has a new interview out with a platform called Slauson Girl, where she says, I am not on the run. I am being criminalized and exploited. In a statement with this platform, Rhoda put out on January 20th, she says, what is happening to me is retribution. I filed a grievance on Officer Thornton before she filed charges against me. As a victim of blunt force trauma, I am not beholden to remember every detail of my attack. That is not a crime. The level of scrutiny I am facing is unprecedented and a form of victim blaming. We must be wary of the perfect victim myth. I have never been seen as the victim I am. I've been criminalized since the moment I broke my silence and reported the violence Olin Douglas committed. People have used my trauma to exploit and engage in infantile, egomaniac, and personal projections for internet content and financial gain. This is immoral and extremely violent, and we don't believe you. Sorry. You got the financial gain by trying to cash in on 40 plus thousand dollars. You are the one who tried to act like you didn't know the identity of this Olin Douglas when you were with him the entire time. You said you got hit with a brick. You got hit with a water bottle. You said that you were going to turn yourself in, which you have not done. You are the same person that came out in 2020 and tried to pull this same exact act for around $5,000. Now this time you up the ante and eight x it. Not only that, but you also took some money that somebody gave to you. Maybe it was from outside of the uh, GoFundMe campaign. Where you went on a solo trip to Jamaica that you documented online for all the world to see. Just to let people know just how much of a scammer you are. You deserve all the bad that comes to you in the future. I don't think you deserve to get hit. But you need to stop faking like you're getting hit for financial gain. Otherwise, you're going to keep getting hit with charges. And uh, Houston ain't laying up on your ass just yet. So you might still have to serve some time. Now, if you're found guilty in a court of law, I'm sure that will hit you like a ton of bricks.
Let me know what y'all think of all this down below in the comments. Be sure to like and share this video. If this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the post notification bell for all updates. I will see y'all on the next one. All right. Peace, y'all. King of my city and cul de sac. Coming, I swing like soldier rags. Leading my people like quarterback. Why I study this shit, I'm an almanac. Had to get up and grind. Knowledge is booming, I'm here to apply. Came with the chip and the dip, it just single the mind. We finna do more to survive. I need my check. Spinning the block for the gouda, we hitting the jeweler to flood out the net. We don't do beef on computers, I'm straight out the sewer, we come when you rest. Niggas be looking perplexed, so keeping my foot on their neck. No map, I trust my gut for the quest. With drama, I'm fully oppressed. I was ready for years and they died of me. All of a sudden, they tell me they proud of me. I've been dropping these haters like calories. First I'm out, I came back with some battery. Stand for my honor, but you run no gunner. Packing a stick with a drummer. Wanna catch my bad one fumble. I done came too far to be humble.